Okay, I know I'm a little late to the party, but I have to say this. What I think of the trilogy and all that stuff in coming to November 11th. Uh, for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Rockstar Games launcher. Okay, so that's what the consoles and stuff it's going to be on. Three iconic cities. Three epic stories. One defensive collection. The defensive edition includes the... Genre defying GTA 3. Can you plus can you plus three more on in GTA 6? <laughs> nah, I'm not I'm not doing those kind of concepts. Um, Vice City and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas all together. Each one enhanced for a new generation and available for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And via Rockstar Games launcher. Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the defensive edition, will be available on November 11th through the PlayStation Store, Micro Store, Xbox, Nintendo eShop, and the Rockstar Games launcher. Okay, this is getting kind of annoying, but it's basically saying what this edition will be available on. But so far from that information alone, I don't know how to feel about this. Like, I never played the... Well, any of those versions. I only played GTA 5 online. I never played any of those other ones because I didn't know GTA was actually a thing back in those days. Like, I played GTA 5 when it was pretty much out. I'm basically a veteran on GTA 5, but that's enough about that. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I'm going to even consider getting this because I don't think, and this is my own opinion, I don't think this is a good idea. People are getting mad at Rockstar about wanting to de get GTA 6 and stuff, but I personally don't care. I don't even want the GTA 6. I know, don't, don't put hate comments in the comments, okay? It's just the truth. I don't care about GTA 6. Got the Grand Theft Auto 3. I never played, like I said before, I never played this, okay. Experience the games that started it all, introducing unprecedented freedom and immersion through the three living breathing worlds filled with hilarious action rich cinematic storytelling classic characters and unforgettable music bring the classic worlds of liberty city vice city and san andreas to modern platforms the gta online trilogy i basically think they're saying the same thing again but let's keep reading it controls plus across the board of visual enhancements such as resolution upgrades, improved visual grades across the world of of the well, world. Now, that's basically telling me that the world's going to change a bit. Now, I'm no genius here, but I think the worlds were changed back in the days, and I have been told that this GTA 3 is one of the better games out there. I don't know, okay? I'm not someone who has actually played those games. I was a very young boy, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to skip past the trilogy and detective edition because honestly, I've been saying it so much on this video. Okay. Introduces wide-ranging modern control upgrades, improvements to targeting and locking and aiming and updated weapons and the radio selection wheels Updated mini maps with enhanced navigation, allowing players to set waypoints to destinations, updated achievements, trophies, and more to the Nintendo Switch version. So that's very specific there. Also, some Switch specific controls, including Rymo aiming, and well as touchscreen camera zooming pans and menu selections. While the PC version includes support to the Okay, you know what? I'm not going to go over that. Um, and additional new applications via Rockstar Games Social Club. Additional enhancements across all three titles include a completely rebuilt lighting system, improved shadows, weather, and reflections, upgraded the character and the vehicle models, along with new highlighter resolution, textures across buildings, weapons, roads, interiors, and more. In GTA Online, the trilogy also features a range of environmental upgrades, including new foliage, 
smoother surfaces and increased draw distance to provide a new level of depth and clarity throughout the world. Oh, and this is uh, San Andreas. Okay, that actually looks okay. But, okay, let's carry on. Originally developed by Rockstar Games, the Grand Theft Auto trilogy has been adapted to modern platforms by Grove Street Games Unreal Engine to make these classics more vibrant and more immersive than ever. Celebrating the legacy of of the series that redefined interactive entertainment and helped propel video games to the center of culture. Stay tuned to the Yorkshire Newswire. Check out Brand New State, the trilogy. Players who will also experience the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the Xbox Game Pass starting November 11th. Grand Theft Auto 3 will be available on December, now starting December 7th. Plus, yeah, I don't know how to think about this, but so far my thoughts are, I'm not getting it. Okay, I'm not getting this game because I never played it before, and I probably have to start from scratch at the very beginning. I'm not going to get it, but I'm not stopping anyone else from getting this game. So, it's up to you guys if you want to get this game, but I'm personally not going to get it. Alright, if you guys want to see some more videos, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Good.